Hey up everyone, hope you're all right, Sophie here. It's absolutely belting it down outside, so if you can hear rain in the background and stuff, I do apologise. Um, yeah, so it's National Poetry Day, uh, right exciting, so I thought what I would do for you is just talk you through a few collections uh, that I like and that I think about often uh, for those wanting to get into contemporary poetry and things like that. I'm not into like ranking stuff, like I'm really bad at slams or anything like that where you've got to put one thing against another. So I'm not saying it's like the top 10 best collections or anything like It's just collections that I think about, you know, a lot and I think that are good. So we'll get started. The first collection that I'm going to talk about is Kim Moore's All the Men I Never Married. Um, this is a great collection. Kim Moore is a poet from Cumbria. Uh, I love her work, I think she's brill. Uh, this book, I like it a lot because basically it's just, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's a load of poems about her interaction with men uh, throughout the years and all those different interactions and, and what's that meant to her. So it starts off um, from being a kid, teenager, going all the way up uh, to being an adult and all the poems are just, uh, they're just numbers basically, so they're just all different numbers and um, some of the poems are response poems from reading the poems at events and what people said about them. So I think it's really really interesting, I love it, uh, I definitely recommend reading it, I read it in like, I don't know, one or two sittings and I find it, it's really heartbreaking to read. Um, but it's also a collection that I felt really like heard, you know, like I felt like my voice was heard um, when I read this also. So yes, that is my first recommendation for you. My second recommendation is Andrew Macmillan's Physical. Uh, this collection is just bloody wonderful. Um, Andrew lives and teaches in Manchester. He is, of course, Ian Macmillan's son, um, but that's not why this is good, like he's an amazing poet in his own right. I love how vulnerable Andrew is with his writing, I think he's a really vulnerable writer, um, a really interesting writer, and I just think the way that he looks at masculinity is really interesting um, and explores that topic. Uh, when I was writing my own collection, this was one of my go-to for, for research. The Men Are Weeping in the Gym is my favourite poem out of this collection. And yeah, so I highly, highly recommend this if you want some male vulnerability going on. Very good. The next collection I'm going to recommend is Black Country by Liz Berry. Uh, Liz Berry was a massive influence on me in terms of using dialect within poetry. Liz Berry is from the black country and has a very strong dialect um, and this works its way into this collection quite a lot. Uh, it, it's brilliant. Birmingham Roller is my one of my favourite poems of all time which is in this collection and um, that is a Birmingham Roller is is a pigeon. Uh, it's a it's a tumbling pigeon so it, it goes down and does this rolling thing. I'm sure you can find a nature documentary that explains that well better. Yeah, I think uh, dialects is not celebrated enough uh, a lot of the time, especially within poetry, and I just think that it's just so nice to hear local words being used. Again, Liz Berry is a very vulnerable writer, um, very softly spoken, very gentle, much like Andrew in a lot of ways, and I really love that uh, about their work because I feel like people feel they have to be really noisy or really big um, to be powerful and writers like this remind me how powerful quietness and vulnerability can be. So yes, Black Country, Liz Berry. The next collection that I'm going to recommend is American Sonnets for My Past and Future Assassin by Terence Hayes. I love Terence Hayes, absolutely amazing uh, writer living in New York, uh, American black writer just wonderful and this collection is just, I don't know, this is why, Terence Hayes is why I love poetry so much, like so for me poetry is about seeing something in a different light, being told something differently, um, 
and I just feel Terence does this in so many ways through uh, his form or through the subject matters that he chooses and yeah this collection is no exception and if you're getting into Terence Hayes this is probably the one I would recommend first so yes next collection I'm going to recommend is Hera Lindsay Bird by Her Hera Lindsay Bird uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm never sure if I pronounced her name wrong, so I'm, right, so I'm very sorry if I pronounced it wrong. But yeah, I, I love this. I love Hera Lindsay Bird. Um, I don't think there is a lot of humour sometimes in, in in writing. There could be more humour, and I feel like she really brings this satirical humour and uh, writes about contemporary things like there's a poem called Monica here all about Monica out of friends um yeah she's very contemporary writes about everyday interesting things um and it's funny she's funny and I really like this collection uh, she's from New Zealand and it's very kind of little surreal way of looking at the world and I feel like she uses again uses humor to talk about serious uh, big subjects so would recommend this Magical Negro by Morgan Parker, um, black American writer, really writes proper devastatingly wonderful things. This collection really um, grabbed me when I read it. Just such an amazing mind um, and a magical Negro is a trope, it's like a teletrope of um, a character trope and she takes this concept and plays with it and um, what I, the poem that I really like from here, I'm just looking at it, looking for it now. Magical Negro, number 217, Diana Ross finishing a rib in Alabama, 1990s. Um, I love the stunted way that Morgan writes, like the fact that she'll just be start starting a phrase and then just stop it midway. Um, I just find it really powerful and, and, and raw and I'd not read anything like this before and it really really captivated me um so yeah so very very powerful stuff uh really recommend this collection enjoyed it loads slightly biased but The Illustrated Woman by Helen Mort uh I love the way Helen writes um the way Helen tackles nature the way Helen explores again really tiny subjects um that, that means so much. Uh, what I really like about the Illustrated Woman sequence in this book is the fact that it's exploring the history of tattoos on women. So starting from like, you know, the um, women in the circus that would have tattoos and, and what that meant to uh, the tramp stamp, which there's actually a poem called that. Uh, and, you know, about how women with tattoos are, are seen. And I really, really like that. And I think there's a lot of that exploration of the gays and um who's looking at who and what it means to be tattooed and but there's also loads of stuff here about family about friendship uh so it's not you know it goes wider than the than the title of the book and finally i would like to recommend um natalie sharpero and um, popular longin american writer um just absolutely read one of her poems online and just absolutely fell in love with her just thought that her um the way she writes again she's got this like really like really dark humor um but just writes these absolutely devastating poems and the combination of these two things it's just wonderful and she just uses phrases that i could never think of in a million years to make you re-see the world so i thought that was brilliant also uh, so those are my poetry books that I think often about. If you want more poetry book recommendations, let me know. I'm very happy to do that. Like, I love reading poetry and I don't get to talk about it often enough. So would always be up for uh, recommending some more stuff. Let me know what you're reading. Let me know what's really grabbed your attention of late. Uh, I've yeah, as we can see, I've got a lot of poetry books behind me, so definitely happy to, to chat more about the subject. Have a wonderful National Poetry Day, whatever you choose to do, and uh, yeah, I'll check in with you lovely lot real soon. Have a good one.